welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to welcome back Kim Lewis. We're talking about the 56th annual. Wow. Ashland Rotary Easter Egg Hunt. Kim, good to see you again. Good to right. see you too. 56. Congratulations. Yes, yes 56. Pretty exciting. It's, it is Sunday. Right? It's Not Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. No, it is Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Sunday at 1 o'clock. But they have to be there at 12 o'clock. So they, they can see special time, personal time, up front and personal with the Easter Bunny. The big man himself. He will be taking photos. He will be um, just hanging out uh, yeah. for that hour. The kids will be lining up. They have to have big yellow dividers yeah. for the each age, age appropriate. Okay. You know, uh, two and under, three and four, four and five, six and seven. Uh, eight and nine. Eight and nine. Uh, up to ten. I, anyhow, five okay. groups, five age five groups. Five groups. So you got, you got a two and under, so that's an adorable little oh, it is. stumbling group, I imagine. They're wonderful. They're <laughs> I wonderful. got one myself. That's great. This is all free to the public. <laughs> that's that's so amazing you guys are it able is. to pull that off. Yeah, well, it's Ashland Rotary, you know, service above self thing. Yeah. And they love to do it to the community. They've been doing it since 1957. Wow. If you can imagine that. Yeah. And uh, it just gets bigger every year. Probably over 1,000 kids come out. And uh, they're not going to run out. They know how many eggs to do. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, in fact, they're going to have uh, 255 dozen eggs, which is over <laughs> 3,000 eggs out there, all died. And wow. uh, all of them di hand died, right? Hand it's all died, died at SOU. SOU, the wow. university's uh, department there in the back uh, background, where they do all of their food services. They mm -hmm. uh, get in on it, and uh, they love to do it and knowing where it's going to produce, and uh, it's really a wonderful, wonderful event. Yeah. So uh, we just encourage everyone and anyone, there'll be special directions by the Ashland Police Department, where to park, how to get to the park. Okay. Um, there will be uh, plenty of uh, uh, ushers there to guide you to the right age-appropriate group, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll be hiding those eggs from sunrise to uh, the time they hit them. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll be, uh, they, they make them harder to find the older they get. That, I like that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's really Very wonderful. Cool. Awesome. All right, we're going to take so, a quick break. Okay. We'll much more in a moment. Stay right. with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5 again. We're here with Kim Lewis. We're talking about the 56th annual Ashton Rotary Easter Egg Hunt coming up Sunday, 1 o'clock, right above the Banshell, Lithia right, Park. Right. So this thing's over in like two minutes. There's no showing up at 1.15 and no. scrounging for scraps. No, 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 no. And the <laughs> Ashton Police Department are there and they set off the siren. It's they very do. dramatic because wow. you have hundreds of parents, yeah. thousands of kids, and this thing just goes like flawlessly, and uh, there's hardly any cleanup. Okay, nice. Yeah, the kids are picking up, right? Okay. Kids get it all. And, and, there's, and yeah. I, there's golden eggs. Tell us yeah, what those two are. Two golden eggs per age-appropriate group, okay. five age-appropriate groups through 10 years old, starting with the under twos, mm -hmm. everything in between. Okay. So uh, you'll be directed to that age group. It'll be marked clearly. Yes. And uh, so it's really wonderful. They'll have candy, 125 pounds of candy, and as I mentioned before, 255 dozen eggs will be colored, and that means over 3,000 eggs. Mm. Almost three or four eggs per kid, wow. as long as they're normal uh, finders. Okay, normal <laughs> finders, got it. Okay, so uh, what, what's the most difficult part about putting this on? I imagine it's, it's a lot of work, but you guys have been doing this 56 years, so it's, it's easy. Well, you know, really, it's a team effort. It, when you have the university helping out with uh, dyeing the eggs, the, uh, it really is a tremendous uh, blessing that they do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just... Uh, do it as a team. That's what the Rotary spirit, you know, do things as a team. Nice. Okay. I, I wanted to mention the origin. I looked up, I did yeah. some historical research of who thought of the Easter egg hunt. Believe it or not, in the 13th century, Martin Luther, the Christian reformer, a Protestant reformer, he would have Easter egg hunts in his backyard. And the men would go hide the eggs and the ladies and the children could go look for the eggs. Huh. And it was supposed to represent the discovery of Christ at the tomb before his resurrection. Wow. And uh, when he was resurrected, there was a surprise. He wasn't there. And so that uh, also goes with the rites of spring and the beautiful flowers coming up and the beautiful eggs and mm. all the things. And then somewhere along the line, they got a bunny. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> that was, anyhow, you don't know where that came from. Who knows from, where that yeah. came from? That was probably a, you know. It and and been, the bunny will be there. He will be there. The, the bunny's the going to be there for himself. photos. Okay. He'll be there the hour before and balloons giving out balloons. If you ever want to get an intimate, precious shot, Mm -hmm. Come and the Easter Bunny will be there for him, and he's a pretty hip dude. Yeah, he gets around. Okay, yeah, very yeah. good. We'll get to see you again. Good to see you too. Thank you so much. Once again. Our pleasure. It's great. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back.